Okay, this is part four of modeling the alien isolation uh, pipe bomb. And uh, in case I didn't fully discuss this last time, I've just added a little bit of sort of a washer underneath here, um, a washer underneath the screws. I switched this terminal to a sort of a cylinder. I may do those sort of um, circular connectors. Uh, I'm not sure what they call that. I uh, made this a little bit shorter so it looks like the batteries could come in and I, I fixed up the elastic. So I'm going to show you a method uh, that uh, Jack Perry actually showed me uh, for making elastics or uh, for making tape. Uh, there is some tape that goes around here. I don't think I'm going to double it up or show you know a frayed end or anything. I think I'm just going to wrap it around and try to use either an image uh, texture uh, to go around here or um, you know uh, some some kind of uh, noise and that kind of stuff or maybe substance pain we'll see anyhow uh, this is what I want to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these and I'm going to control C to copy them so let's make sure I copy them and I'm just going to save that and I'm going to go to a new one and I'm going to paste them in so I've got the pipes uh, right there now I'll see if I can turn on my screencast keys in this one see if it matters and uh, yeah okay there we go uh, what I'm going to do now is um, I'll set the origin of geometry and I'm going to bring the 3d cursor there I'm actually going to join these together to one object okay cool so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them I'm just going to close that off because I'm going to use this and I'm going to bring in a plane and that's perfect size you could scale it if you need to I'm going to go into edit mode I'm going to look from the front to the side and I'm going to extrude it up and this is going to be the thickness of your tape or how high you want your tape so let's say I wanted it there that can be adjusted later all right what you do then is with this selected go over to the modifiers add boolean choose intersect and then as your object choose the cylinders make sure you apply it delete the cylinders and you'll be left with this in face selection I'm going to select all of these faces and delete them and I now have the outline of my cylinders okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the cylinders again for the moment and then go into edit mode and what you do then is you connect edges like this and imagine the tape is going across. Now I'm just going to select those and press F and see if it looks like it goes across. I'm going to look at it here. So it would look like it would come around and continue. And it's a little bit of trial and error. Um, that one looks okay. Let's say I connected this one to this one. Let's see if that works. Might. Let's try this one and this one. Now you see the way that doesn't look quite right. I'm just going to get rid of that and do it again. And delete that one and try this one. And if you get it right, don't forget to recalculate your polys outside. Shift Alt and click that edge and this edge and this edge. Do the same on the bottom. Delete vertices. Now it's broken that. I'm just going to rejoin these where the straight parts were from before and I'm left with this. Now I'll bring back those copied cylinders and you may have to do a little bit of adjustment. I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna go S. I'm just gonna scale it till it just barely comes out. And you may have to um, go in, let me go in a wireframe and see what's going on here on this one here. All right, I see that. Um, you may need to take an edge loop and bring it in and maybe from top view just gently nudge it out a bit and see how that looks just go around and see that it's not intersecting anywhere all right and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to add solidify I'm just going to leave it like that I'm actually going to add a subdivision surface I don't know uh, I'm going to put it above. I'm going to put one edge loop right there and select that and control B and sort of pull it up like this. Okay, I 
got a little bit of work to do here. Just a, just a little bit of cleanup. You know, but still pretty fast method. Let's see how that's starting to look. Looks pretty good to me. Now, if that could be a rubber band. If you wanted to, you could put an edge loop in there. And then you could say, okay, I want a little bit of, of you know, this kind of thing. Let's see if that's caused any problem anywhere else. You know, and so I might go around and do that. And if I do that, I then just have to look that it's not going in to my object anywhere else. I'll do one more here. Just pull it in a bit. I may have a problem right there. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, that's all right. I'm going to go in wireframe and uh, maybe vertex. Maybe I'll pull this down a little ways like this. Okay. So with that done, I'm going to just save this. So I can come back to it if I need to. I'm going to take this in Control C. I'll save that. I'm going to go back to my original file. And I'm just going to control V. Make a new collection. Tape. Alright. And let's see where I need this underneath there, just above that. Alright. Right around there. And then I may have to move everything else out a little bit. You know, in which case I gotta do a little bit of work. What might be easier to do is just to maybe scale this in the Y, see if I make it a bit thinner and push it out. You know, I don't want it too thin, but I think I might be able to get away with something, something along that line. You know, you can add a couple subdivisions depending on how many polys you want to use. I might do that. Um, you know, hopefully this would take, uh, you know, a, a UV texture, but I might just do um, a procedural. Um, where else have we got tape that could go all the way around underneath the battery? And so hopefully I've got enough, enough room. Um, down there and close to the bottom. Well, that's interacting with the elastic. The elastic goes over it and up. And mine's not going to be exactly the same. That's okay. Well, let's see how we would look if the tape was under the elastic. I'm not crazy about that look. And so I might think about, I don't want to just do it there. With that, um, I can then go in and start doing the wires. And by the way, I changed the orientation of these as well. I, I believe it's a little bit better that way. Let's zoom out here and sort of see now there's another piece of tape there i might do that later on or off camera so we got some wires that come in go under the tape sort of peek out a bit under the tape and then connect now i don't know that it matters which wire connects to which terminal down here so let's just have a look at that so i think what i'll do is i'll start here and i'm going to select in there shift s cursor to select it and I'm going to bring in a path. All right. All 
and just start fiddling with this thing. I don't know why I did that way. All right, let's look from, let's say, side. I'm going to bring it up. And then from the front, let's bring this guy in. I won't do all of this on camera because it could take a little bit of fiddling on my part to do this. Right away, I'm going to switch over to give myself some geometry so I can start to see what's going on here. Let's make sure we're going under the elastic, which we are. Uh, does it come out? Did we say it comes out? Comes out between the elastics. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll subdivide it there. I'll bring you out. And then I'll bring you back in and down. Maybe I'll subdivide this too. Mm, it's a little close for that, so that's part of the issue that I'm having here. It's not starting to look. Yeah, all right. Something like that. All right, I have to go back and make sure they're not crossing anywhere. Or let's, I'm not sure I like this parallel uh, view here, but uh, I can work on that a little bit off camera, but something along that line for the wires. And that would lead me to close to the end. I probably need another piece of tape here, and I may or may not do some of those other connections. So. Um, thanks for uh, bearing with me here and uh, we'll see what we do for probably the last um, modeling uh, video. I'm not crazy about the thickness of this but uh, we'll see it might be okay. <laughs> 